Welcome to my channel if you're here for the first time and welcome back if you've been here before. In this video, I am going to be showing you how to make your basic sleeve pattern. Now, personally, whenever I'm making any design with sleeves, I always make my sleeve pattern from scratch. I don't know why, but I've always done it this way. However, I've come to realize that some people might actually want to trace their sleeve from a basic sleeve pattern and essentially have a basic sleeve pattern on standby. And that's why I decided to create this video today. Now, this is one of my shortest videos, so I'm going to make the intro just as short. So go ahead and grab all your grabby balls and let's get started. Now, don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notification, give this video as many likes as you can, and also drop me a comment in the comment section if you have any questions whatsoever. All right then, let's get started already. My name is Ijoma and welcome to my sewing diary. The materials you will need are your front and back traced basic bodice pattern, extra pattern paper, measuring tape, short ruler, pins, marker pen or pencil, tracer wheel, paper scissors, curved ruler and long ruler. I'll leave the full list as well as all associated links in the description box below. With your measuring tape, measure the length of your front and back armhole and notes down. On your fresh piece of pattern paper, mark two inches down for the top edge and roll across the length of your paper. This is your top line. Also locate the center of the paper by folding it in two and outlining the line. Calculate your bicep line by adding your front and back armhole measurement that you recorded, dividing the sum by three, and then subtracting 0.5. Mark your bicep line down from the top line and roll across your paper. Where the vertical line intersects with the top line is called the crown. So measure out the length of your front armhole measurement from the crown to touch the bicep line on the right hand side and do the same on the left hand side for the back armhole measurement. Connecting both points to the crown with your short ruler. On each side, mark the midpoints of the lines you have just drawn. From the midpoint marks, mark half an inch up on the left hand side and half an inch down on the right hand side. Connect the half inch points to the crown and bicep lines like so to create triangles. Mark midpoints of each new line drawn and 3 eighths of an inch on each side of the crown. On the right hand side, go up 5 eighths of an inch from the mid mark above and down 3 eighths of an inch from the mid mark below. On the left hand side, go up 3 eighths of an inch from the mid mark above and down 2 eighths of an inch from the mid mark below. Connect the points with your curved ruler like so. You have just created your sleeve head. I've gone ahead and numbered the points for easy reference. Measure your elbow length from the top line 
down the length of your paper and roll a line across. Also do the same with your full sleeve length measurement. Measure the distance between points 1 and 2 on the left hand side and mark this distance away from the center line on the full sleeve length line and on the same side. Also do the same on the right hand side with points 2 and 3. I've leveled the point for easy reference again. Mark a point one quarter of the distance between points 4 and 5 and point 5 and 6 on each side and then connect these points to points 1 and 3 respectively with your long ruler. So this is pretty much your basic sleeve pattern. To use, simply trace out the sleeve, making sure you indicate your front and back. I've used two marks for the back and one for the front. So all you need to do now is add your seam allowance round and label. You need to cut two pieces of this. And you're done. You can modify this to any design you want, but I personally always make a fresh sleeve pattern for every sleeve design I want to create, and now you can too. With making this video, I feel it's going to be easier for people that just want to learn how to make the basic sleeve, and it will also help me cut down on my video time every time I'll be making garments with sleeves. I hope this video has been useful to you and catch me in my next video coming up same time next week. Until then, see you later. Bye.